All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dumb coming back with another video. And the Buffalo Sabres go to 2 and 1 on the season as they beat the Vegas Golden Knights who they got swept by last season. Uh the only expansion team in history to make the Stanley Cup in their first season. Uh but they lost to the Washington Capitals. In the first period, Jack Eichel got his second of the year, assisted by Rasmus Ristolainen and Kyle Ocposo at 14.31. Uh, Rasmus Ristolainen, that's his second assist of the year. For Kyle Ocposo, that's his first. And in the second period, at 4.58, Jack Eichel gets his third of the season, assisted by Sam Reinhart, his second of the season, and Connor Sherry, his first of the season. Uh, and then at 7.48, it was Vegas' Eric Halla, assisted by Carlson and uh, Jonathan Marchisol. And then uh, at 8.15 in the second period, it was Marco Scandella for Buffalo, assisted by Kyle Pozo, his second, and Patrick Berglund, his first. And then at 9.43, Buffalo scores again. Jason Pominville. And the population of Pominville goes up by one more. His first of the season, assisted by Evan Rodriguez. His first of the season, and Zemgis Gergensen's. His first of the year. And in the third period, it was Jonathan Murchisolt. His second of the game, and, or no, his second of the season. Uh, at 10.47, assisted by Carlson. Penalties. In the first period, at 54 seconds, it was uh, Vegas' Paul Stastny, two minutes for slashing. And then at 13.45 of the first period, it was Paul Stastny, two minutes for slashing again. Then in the second period, it was Buffalo's Casey Nelson at two minutes and 20 seconds, two minutes for slashing. And then in the third period, at 5.36, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, two minutes for hooking. And Carter Hutton faced 37 shots, made 35 saves, and has a 9.46 save percentage. I am very, very happy that uh, Carter Hutton uh, is able to uh, be a starting goaltender in the NHL. Uh, he came over from the St. Louis Blues, as I said in another video. And uh, he's doing really well. He's 2-1. And... One, um, and uh, the, the Sabres are looking very, very good this year. Uh, Thursday night, they play the Colorado Avalanche uh, in their uh, final game of a home game, of a four-game homestand. They open the season at home on a four-game homestand. Uh, as you know, they lost their first game to the Boston Bruins 4 Uh Then they beat the New York Rangers 3-1. And now they beat the Vegas Golden Knights 4-2. to two. And Thursday, uh, they wrap up their homestand with a, a game against the Colorado Avalanche. Um, who are undefeated as of right now. They are 2-0. and uh, I think that's a winnable game. Uh, I do think the Buffalo Sabres can win this game. And I think they will win this game at Key Bank Center in Buffalo. Uh, and I think that uh, Jeff Skinner is, may get his first goal of the season and his first as a Buffalo Saber. Um, I'd like to see Rasmus Dahlin score um, as uh, Rasmus Ristolainen scored against the Rangers. Um, but And I'm wearing my Rasmus Ristolainen jersey. I have two of his. I have the blue one, which is this one, which I really like this jersey. And I have the white one that I don't wear much because of the patch on it. Uh, the patch is wrong. I ordered a uh, winter classic jersey for the 2018. But it says 2014, the big house. The Buffalo Sabres never played in the 2014 um, winter classic. They only played in the 2008 and the 2018. So, and they lost both. They lost to the Rangers 4 to 3 and they lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins by a score of 2 to 1. Um Ryan Miller was in the uh first winter classic and Robin Lehner was in the second. Uh 
but I'm really I really like Carter Hutton like I said and uh, I really hope that uh, he becomes something for the Buffalo Sabres which he has shown that uh, he can be a starting goaltender in this league but uh, we are now getting ready for the Colorado Avalanche uh, that's going to be a good game I do think the Buffalo Sabres are going to win that game um, just because they're the home team and uh, Colorado is coming from, you know, like I said, the West, uh, and they have to come East, so sometimes that, with the time and everything, that messes teams up, but, uh, it is a winnable game, and I think the Buffalo Sabres will, will win, um, Phil Housley, the head coach, uh, has his team playing right now, and I really like that, uh, they're, they're gonna, uh, take some lumps this year because they are a young team, but, uh, I think once they get rolling, they're going to really get rolling. I do think they're going to make the playoffs. Uh, I do think they're going to be a fifth fifth or sixth seed. Um, I don't necessarily think they're going to be on top, although I hope they, get, they you know, like are a top three. But um, even if they don't, even if they can get in at fifth or sixth, you know, I th still think they can go far. Look at, I do believe they were the seventh or eighth seed when they went to the Stanley Cup final. I think they were the seventh seed. So they had to go on the road every playoff series, and they went to the Stanley Cup in 1999, which they got robbed against the Dallas Stars um, in six games. So uh, I do think they're going to make the playoffs. Um, it's just going to be, you know, who we play. Um, I think uh, if they're hot at the right time, it's not going to matter who they play. Because I think uh, they can win and go far in the playoffs. But uh, So, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Go Sabres, let's beat the Avalanche on Thursday. And stay tuned for my uh, uh, Sabres Avalanche preview video and my NFL uh, Week 6 picks. Um, so, yeah, comment in the comment section below on what you think, and if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Share on Twitter, share on Facebook, share on YouTube, share with your friends and family, um, and I hope to, uh, see you in the next video. Until then, this is Sports Dumb saying, Go Sabres!